What's up, baseball players? I'm Coach Dan Blewett. I'm a former pro pitcher. And in today's video, we're going to talk about how to play your best in front of scouts when they come out to watch. All right, so if you're new here, check out the description links below. You'll find other mental training videos like this one. You'll find my mental training course, my books, other things that will help you with your game. So in today's video, let's talk about how to play your best when a scout comes to watch. This is really hard, right? And you can obviously put tons and tons of pressure on yourself and just go in the wrong direction. You can try extra hard, go in the wrong direction. So I'm going to give you four tips today that's, that are really simple, but it's going to be a good reminder for you next time someone comes out to watch and you might sort of hold the keys to your own future. So number one, and this is a huge just general piece of, it's a general tool in your mental toolkit, which is take a deep breath. And this is something that we forget all the time, but there's a term in baseball called being sped up, quote unquote. And when I look out to one of my players, whether it's my pitcher on the field uh, or on the mound, that's probably the most common scenario. You'll see the pitcher actually being like faster through his movements when he gets super nervous. That's literally fig or figuratively or literally uh, sped up. But you also get sped up in your mind, obviously, where just everything seems out of control. It's really hot. The bases are loaded. There's no one out. The big hitter's coming up. And just everything seems like your mind's racing. The best thing you can do in that scenario to start calming yourself down and refocusing is just taking that deep breath. So you have to remind yourself whenever you feel stressed, and especially when a scout's there, take a deep breath with a long, slow exhale, preferably out and in through the stomach, not up and down from your shoulders. That's sort of like more of like a yoga meditation breath is out and in through the belly. And that's going to help sort of ground you, slow you down, get some oxygen into your brain so you can think straight, and also just start to slow your heart rate down as well because you literally do get sped up when you're really nervous and you feel the, the pressure heaped on your shoulders. So remember, that's your number one tool. Take a deep breath. Number two, you have to be yourself. And there's a term that I like to use called dance with who, who brung you. And this was something that a, a coach told one of my teammates in college who explained it to me. You know, wisdom gets passed around. But dance with who, who brung you means when you get to the dance, Dance with your date. Dance to the per with a person that committed to being there with you. Don't just run around looking for a better, prettier date when you finally get to the dance. And what that means in the sports world is you got here. A scout shows up to watch you because they heard or saw what you've been doing. Your normal everyday, you know, two for four, one for three, zero oh for four. You know, like they've seen and heard what you do as a player. So now that they've shown up, you don't have to try harder. You don't have to like go four for four with four bombs. You don't have to throw an extra five miles per hour. You just need to show your normal self because they've already got the idea and the impression that your normal self is pretty darn good and worth taking a look at. So you have to remind yourself just to stay within yourself, be yourself, dance with who brung you. The skills that got you to this point where a scout's taking interest in you is going to be enough to get you through. And just because this one scout came out, that's a good sign that more are going to come out. It's never just one scout shows up and then no one ever shows up. If the word's starting to get out about you, more are going to come. So don't put too much pressure on yourself to be like Mario when he gets a star where you're just like, boom, everything is, you know, you're running 10 times faster and hitting the ball and throwing, you know, way faster. Just be yourself and dance with who brung you. Number three, interact with your teammates, especially in pregame, so you don't get stuck dwelling on the fact that there's a scout there with a radar gun about to watch you play and decide your fate. Start making jokes with your buddies. Act like everything is normal. Do things to get you into a normal mindset in the dugout so you're distracted in the sense that you're not dwelling on bad potential outcomes. The worst thing that could happen is you're staring at the scout and you're going, Oh God, what if I get crushed in the first inning as a pitcher? Oh my God, what if I let two pass balls go by me as a catcher? Oh my God, what if I make a let a ball go right through my legs as a shortstop? What if I go 0 for 4 with three strikeouts today? That's the kind of stuff that can hurt you when you let your mind ruminate and these doubts and anxieties come in. So when you just start to like make jokes with your buddies, you know, listen in on a conversation, you know, clean your cleats, do all these different things that just take your mind away from this scout that might hold the keys to your future. So let yourself get absorbed with the fun things, interact with your buddies, and have a normal day in the dugout. And number four, and this is the most important one, not just for when scouts are watching, but in just in general, 
is focus on the smallest possible task within your control, the atoms, quote unquote, of a baseball game. So as a pitcher, this is one inning, one hitter, one pitch at a time. You're definitely going to want to throw a shutout in front of the scout, right? You're going to want to go seven innings, no runs, four hits, 14 Ks. That'd be awesome. But you can't do that all at once. So if you go out there in the first inning and try to throw a shutout, you're going to put way too much pressure on yourself. If you go out there in the first inning and just say, I've got one hitter to get out, to get out and then you make one good pitch to start that at bat. That's what you really, that's when you really hit your stride and can control your outcomes better. One batter, one pitch at a time. And you just do that. And slowly over time, you realize, man, I've thrown 85 pitches a day and I'm cruising. And I did that one pitch at a time. For hitters, the same thing. Your goal is to see the pitch and put a good swing on it. You can't control where it goes once it leaves your bat, right? As a catcher, your job is just to track the pitch in and do your best to catch it, frame it, block it, whatever happens, right? Go through your scenarios in your head. Make sure you know where the ball's got to go, whether the runner's going to run. Go through all that stuff so when the pitch is on its way, you can focus on your one task, which is catching it or blocking it to the best of your ability. This is what baseball is about, distilling the game down to the smallest possible task that you can control. And when you do that, everything else, all the pressure, all the good and bad potential outcomes, they really start to fade away. And this is something that I learned much later in my career, and it's hard. Sometimes you get beat up, and then you start to figure out, okay, I've gotten shelved for three innings, but now I'm in the fourth and coach is leaving me out here. I've got nothing, but let's just get through one hitter. If I can just get one hitter out, then we'll worry about the next one. That's how I started to learn this mindset. I was getting beat up and I was afraid that I was going to lose my spot in the rotation, my rookie year in pro ball. And I really just was like, look, you suck. You suck today. Let's just get one batter out. Let's make one good pitch. And then we'll just worry about the next one. And it's a really powerful mindset to have. All right. So hopefully this video is helpful. Leave a comment in the, in the comment section below or a question if you have one. Check out the description. You'll find more of my mental training videos. You'll find my mental training course and my books, all of which are designed to help you with your mindset because it's a really big part of baseball. All right. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.